Hi, this is Bupinder. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can publish your website to Azure.com. Azure is provided by Microsoft and it got one year free trial to use their services to upload your website and many other services. And some of them you can see it on top in here. You need to go and create a resource to be able to use that. I've already created two resources for app services and they are down here. So now I want to upload my website onto this resource which is app services. So I select the heat exchanger. It comes to this page in here. All we need to do, the simplest way I found out was to click on get published profile. For now just save it here. It's better to save that in your project files always. But for this example, this should be okay. Life is really simple once we got that published profile. So you will go to your Visual Studio, the project that you got and that you want to publish. All you need to do is right click on that project solution and then click on publish. So now here we need to go to profile. In the profile, we need to go to import. And now we need to go and find that file that we just downloaded. Select the file and click on open, click on OK, click no, or you could click yes, it depends, um, either way would work. You can click on validate connection to test whether the connection works before publishing it. It becomes green, that means OK, so then you can just click on publish and you can see here in the corner it says publish started and the work is happening in the background. Here it is, the website is published, you can see it is at azurewebsites.net and now if I go to my GoDaddy website in their portal, I can just go on the domains that I got and then click on DNS. If you scroll down in DNS manager, you will see a place called forwarding. Here you can add and you can put the name of your website. So select the website, copy and control V to paste. Take out the HTTP. So whether it's permanent or temporary, forward only, or you can use it with masking. Masking means it would display it your domain name, but it would use this website content. So now you write the title, give a description, and type in some keywords. Once you're done, just click on save. As easy as that, we managed to publish the website onto Azure, and then we were able to connect GoDaddy domain to uploaded website for free. If this video was useful, please don't forget to subscribe, and I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.